Well, the fourth generation core processor was the first chip that we've designed from the grounds up for the Ultrabook. Uh, when we launched two years ago, I guess, or 2011 on the uh, second generation core, we had about 21 Ultrabooks. Mm -hmm. Third generation core, we've now today talked about 70 Ultrabooks in the market and 140 in just the next several months. Nice. But what's incredibly exciting about fourth generation core is it was designed from the grounds up. So we're going to see incredible new performance, almost uh, double the graphics capabilities, nice. uh, and a lot more security as well. What's interesting, I think, is we've been interacting with the PC with a mouse and a keyboard for decades. And I think you're going to see more innovation in the next 12 to 18 months than we've seen in the last 10 years in the PC market. We're going to bring voice and touch to the screen, new gestures, facial recognition, augmented reality. Um, the way we interact with PCs a year from now is going to be incredibly different than what we do today, and we think that's going to spur demand. Well, I think what's exciting is that uh, Windows 8 is designed for touch and uh, we will have more Ultrabooks in the market with touch than actually have existed in the marketplace completely uh, less than a few weeks ago. So over 40 different designs with touch. We've got uh, convertibles coming, which we think are going to be the best of a tablet and the best of a PC. So you no longer need to carry two different devices around. You can kind of combine that into a single device that'll give you both functionality. I think Windows 8 is going to be huge for Intel. You know, we've geared up for touch. We've put in three to five times the uh, industry forecast for touch capacity for 13 inch and larger, anticipating nice. touch is coming. But at the end of the day, for the average user, Intel has meant compatibility. So when you run and load iTunes on Windows 8 machine, it's going to run. Well, I think the beautiful part about an uh, Intel tablet that's coming with Windows 8, whether you're using Atom or the core processor, it's going to seamlessly integrate into your security and your manageability environment. Uh, we'll have vPro kinds and, and advanced management technology across those devices. And when you combine that with things like McAfee's ePolicy Orchestrator, it'll kind of very seamlessly integrate into the environment. And we think it'll have you know, the best TCO or total cost of ownership in the marketplace for IT. So that's kind of the advantage of Intel is this compatibility, the security, and the seamless manageability. This market has fewer players. We're coming into a Monday where we're going to enter a new stage of tech. It's a stock picker's market. Welcome to the five dumbest things. Apple reported earnings.